What's up, friends? Today we're talking about the new super deluxe version of Revolver. This isn't going to be a very long video, partially because my point can be illustrated in just a short example. Since they came out last night, 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I have been listening to the latest versions of Revolver that got put out. And I really like what they've done with the mix here. When the Beatles initially released their albums, they primarily planned on people listening to them in mono. They also released stereo versions, but at that time, stereo technology was really new and there weren't common practices in the industry for which instruments to put where in a stereo mix. Unfortunately, for the longest time, Apple Music and Spotify have only had the stereo versions of Revolver and other Beatles albums. But now, Revolver, which is one of my favorite Beatles albums, is available not just in stereo, but in mono. Also, they've done this new 2022 mix where they've taken the original tracks from Revolver and turned them into these modern mixes of Revolver. Now that we have these great common practices in stereo and we really understand like how we want stereo tracks to sound, we've applied that to the Revolver mixes. There's also like a Dolby Atmos version, but I don't give a dump. I don't care about Dolby Atmos. I know some people are really into it, but I don't have the setup for that. I don't have like this massive surround sound experience that's meant for it, so it doesn't matter to me. To illustrate what I'm talking about, I wanted to play a few clips. All of the clips I'm going to play are the beginning of the song Taxman. And if you don't have speakers, this exercise is going to mean nothing. If you don't have speakers or headphones. So if you have some of those, put them on because I'm going to illustrate the differences between the mix. So first, we're going to listen to the stereo version of Taxman. Let me tell you how it will be. Now what you'll notice about the stereo version of Taxman there is that the drums are like all on the left. The entire drum set is just for some reason placed on the left with the bass. And it's so weird. Like that's just not how we listen to music nowadays. We don't have drums just all on one side. It's just a weird practice. It's not how drums feel the best in a mix. And then the vocals when they come in are coming in kind of in the center, a little bit on the right with the backgrounds. So it's like feels super imbalanced and it's just not fun. Now let's listen to the 2022 mix. Let me tell you how it will be. So you'll notice with that 2022 mix that the drums are in the center, the kick and snare in the center. They have cymbals on the left and right and the guitars kind of have this nice stereo effect to them, vocals down the middle. It's just common mixing practices for panning of modern songs. And it sounds really good. It sounds like, oh, these were mixed with stereo in mind. It makes you feel like you're surrounded and you're in the music in a really cool way. Finally, we'll listen to the mono real quick. Let me tell you how it will be. And these are the like primary mixes. These are the mixes that most people in the 1960s listening to the Beatles revolver would have heard and they're like what made the Beatles so cool is you had these really smart mixes in mono and when you mix in mono it's almost like the entire composition is focused on being in mono the sounds are meant to combine in such a way that they're all supposed to come down the middle which I think is so cool I I just am so excited that I can finally listen to this I've told my mom before and I've told other friends before that I don't love listening to the Beatles in my car or on headphones because a bunch of the mixes are in stereo and it's annoying. It's so annoying that it takes away from the enjoyment of listening to the music. So I'm just pumped out of my mind. I'm also excited they added Paperback Rider and Rain because that was a single around this time. Now I have Paperback Rider and Rain in mono as well. And I'm excited about that. There's also these alternate takes and these kind of rough versions of the songs. Those are fun to explore. That's like a one, maybe two time thing to explore. I think, although, you know, sometimes those can be real gems. I think some of the anthology versions, these like alternate take versions are some of my favorite versions 
of certain Beatles songs. For example, the acapella version of Because is, to me, the version of Because. Like, I don't, I don't think the bass line, that like cool thing, needs to be there as much. I think it sounds so much more pure and incredible when it's just acapella and it's just this vocal masterpiece. So explore those, see if you like certain takes better. And if so, great, you know, put them on your playlist, keep listening to them. I hope this short video has increased your ability to appreciate this super deluxe version of Revolver. If so, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, check out my latest album, Bashing My Head Through a Wall. It's really cool and it's acoustic and it's folksy. And so if you like that album, please add songs from it to your Spotify playlist. And that's it. Catch on the flip. Hook me up with a joy that lies.